Neighborhoods covered in mud and houses gutted from the inside out. That's the cringeworthy sight homeowners are facing right now in the River Valley as floodwaters are starting to recede. Fox 24's Clarissa Bustamante is live in Fort Smith with a look at what's left of neighborhoods hit hard by historic flooding. Clarissa? Chelsea, this neighborhood is littered with pieces of people's homes, from furniture to more personal items like children's toys and Christmas decorations. And I wish you guys could see behind me, there's literally a washer and a dryer just sitting in the front lawn. But cleanup crews were here today to make sure these homeowners get back to their normal. We've seen a major disaster. Cleanup crews now fill the streets where water once flooded homes and made them unlivable. People losing their homes, uh, their furniture, um, having to relocate. Uh, but we're here to help. Being so close to the lake, this home in Canterbury Cove has to be gutted before it can be rebuilt. We had to yank up all the flooring materials, do four foot flood cuts on the walls, yank out the wet insulation. Mike Caney with Service Master Restore says six or seven houses on this street have been heavily damaged, but some are worse than others. Some, like the, the house next to us, had one family room that had about a foot and a half of water in there. Um, this one was entirely affected, the whole lower level. Parts of this family still live on these walls, from children's art to a cross still hanging in the kitchen. The gentleman that lives here uh, is in pretty good spirits about it, um, but uh, a lot of them this is really tough for. The flood waters rushed in and out, taking affected families in more ways than we'll know. It's an emotional um, distress for, for the homeowner. And, um, you know, we're here to comfort her and her husband to make sure that um, their house gets restored correctly. In the River Valley, it's all about community. And A.J. Brock with Drywall Crews says he's ready when he gets the call for help. We plan on taking on more clients as um, soon as possible. We're ready to go. We have teams ready to go. Sure. Well, a time like this can be profitable for companies like these. Brock ensures me that all prices are fair, and he's not raising any either. Live in Fort Smith, Clarice Bustamante, Fox 24 News.